Hi guys, um, okay, this week I'm going to do another Spectrum game on my lead up to, like I said, getting my Amiga in December, I'll, um, just reliving some Spectrum memories, but also not wanting to play games that I own because I'd like to recollect those at some point as well. Um, so essentially this is a travel back even further in time to games that I that led me to owning a Spectrum. So games that I played at friends' houses which led me to, want, to, to wanting a Spectrum in the first place. And the reason why I want to play Spectrum games and I'm purposely not playing anything that is 16-bit um, or later is so that when I collect that Amiga again, it truly is a an upgrade, okay? So just to give you a bit of an indication as to why, <sighs> apparently meant to be talking about Amiga stuff on this channel primarily, and I'm not yet. Well, there's, there's good reason. Um, okay, so um, today's game, well, let's, let's actually get into it. And what I'm using, I'll put a link in the description, is I'm using Spectaculator. Um, and I'll be completely transparent. I'm going to buy Spectaculator. I'm using the trial version. Um, I'm just trying, in all honesty, I'm just trying to curb my spending on the run up to this big trip at Christmas. Um, but um, uh, I, I will be buying this um, emulator. I bought Amiga Forever, as you all know, um, uh, because I think it's worth owning legitimately. And the same is true of this. Absolutely. Um, it's worth owning legitimately. And it just makes it so cool to be able to run these these things so as I jump into it so oh, I've got to remember I had to set up another scene in OBS studio uh, sort of behind the scenes information for you there um, so if I do this that should there we go I had to do some tinkering about because I've sort of played with I love keeping original aspect ratio so as you can see they're four by three and in spectaculator and this is what I think is worth paying for spectacular spectaculator so if you're interested do have a look do the trial to see if it's something you want to invest in, and I do encourage you to buy it. Um, but you can see here, I've got basically everything turned on to try and make this as realistic as possible. So one, four by three ratio. Two, I've shrunk it down to 640 by 480, um, rather than native screen resolution. Three, I've turned on scan lines, and there's a sort of TV simulator, and you can change that from all the way down to RF signal, all the way up to like SCART. Um, and so I've purposely set this up as RF signal, again, because that's what I was used to. I showed this to a friend at work on a laptop. Um, keeping in mind, he was a C64 person um, back in the day rather than a Spectrum person. Spectrum's not really that big over here in Australia at all. Um, and he looked at it and he said, but was it really that blurry? And I looked at him and I said, well, it was in my house because we weren't rich enough to have a monitor and we plugged it into the television set. Um, and especially looking at it, this is a bit too big on my monitor here, in all honesty. On my laptop, which is a smaller screen again, it's only a 15 inch. Once you shrink it down to this uh, inside that resolution, um, it's, it's, it's as, <laughs> as close as you're going to get, I think. Um, so this is running as a Spectrum Plus 3, which is what I had. Um, I have also been tinkering about with some programming, but I'll come to that in another episode. Um, some stuff that I tinkered about with. That's a whole other story. So the reason I want to use Spectaculator rather than archive.org is because then you get the tape loading. And this is another jump to, I know what you're thinking, Spectrum Plus 3 was a hard drive. These games I played at my mate's houses, which were on 48Ks. And if I ever did play them at home, I borrowed their tapes or copied their tapes and I loaded them from tape which you could do on a plus three, even though it had the internal disk drive, you could plug in an external tape. And to be honest, in my Spectrum days, most of my game's library was tape-based because it was so much cheaper and so, so much easier to find. So it's part of the experience for me going through that load time. Let's get into it because I can talk all this whilst it's loading. <laughs> So we can we can do two things at once. So I'm going to what I've got to first do is actually just quickly load the tape into the drive, um, which I'm doing behind the scenes. It doesn't actually show you the drop down here, but I've, I've got a drop down on the screen here. So I've loaded the tape into the drive, and let's get it loading. Ah, uh, the memories. So yeah, this is why I wanted to do it this way because seriously, going through the process back in the day, it was like pulling teeth. But now, j tripping back via emulation or even via physical hardware, it's part of the experience. And even though I have the option in Spectaculator to 
automatically load. I'm just going to turn that down there. Even though I'm going to, I've got, I've got the ability to automatically load the games. I don't have to sit through this. It doesn't feel right. Does that make sense? Going through this painful, and and the reason why it was so painful, which comes into my story about this game, is because back then it would often fail as well. So the game I want to play today is Saboteur. So where did I play Saboteur? I played Saboteur at my mate, mate's friend's, Jewel, because they were brothers, um, Matthew and Daryl's, leaving out surnames. Um, so they lived just around the corner from me. Um, and they had a Spectrum 48, Rubber Key, another another household that had one of those that led me to wanting one. Still haven't owned one. Um, and... Um, this is one of the games. There's there's one other game that springs to mind, um, which I'll do in another episode, but primarily this. And I loved the look and feel of this. But the whole process of loading the game, okay, so Matthew and Daryl would, you know, I'd go around there and it'll be after school. We'd have limited time before I'd have to be home for dinner and they'd have to have their dinner, you know the drill. Um, and so I'd, you know, go around there and Daryl, by the way, he was the older of the two brothers. He's the guy that taught me how to make my own RS-232 cables once we got into Amiga stuff. He taught me a lot about programming as well, actually. He taught me a lot about programming. Um, and he taught me how to make an RS-232 cable uh, myself, buying buying the adapters. Um, and I can't remember what he was involved in at the time, something to do with electronics or something. He was a little bit older, starting to get into work, but also studying at school. He got some of the, of the you know, D-pit plugs from somewhere and help me make my first cable and then from there I would buy them from Candy um, and make my own cables. So the um, longest one I made was an RS-232 which came with this massive ribbon cable that Daryl got hold of for me. I don't know where he got hold of this stuff from. Let's not ask too many questions. Anyway, we go around there. Matthew and Daryl, like any pair of brothers, great guys, wouldn't hear a bad word said against either of them, but they would fight like brothers as well. So what would happen was, we'd first of all they'd argue about what game we should play then we would go through the process the the uh, you know the routine of trying to load a game and those of you that have loaded these games from the actual hardware will know or did it back in the day that it wouldn't always load first time so it would take this long to load first and foremost in fact that's loaded um Here's a tip. If you know anybody that works for the guys Programming Spectaculator, I have an upgrade suggestion. I want to see, for me personally, and I don't think it would be hard to do, I want to see an option, okay? In the Put it under advanced, maybe under a tab, ultra realism or something. And I want to see an option that I can tick with a slider, tape load failure, okay? And the slider should be, I don't know, let's call it, I don't know, um heads condition or tape condition or whatever or even just you know uh random uh, you know percentage percentage whatever and the idea would be that you could tick this box and you could set the random the the likelihood from zero to well 100 would be stupid so let's let's say 50 would be the top end zero to 50 percent chance of a tape load failure that for me would make this perfect because so many times it would fail either because the heads were dirty the volume was wrong or it was a poor quality tape or a poor quality copy um that would just that would just make it for me okay so then what would happen such a this is so good this is awesome this is so good to be able to play this what would happen is we'd eventually get it loaded so we'd have eaten into probably um, I'm just going to change the keyboard and I actually can't start the game yet. We would have, I'll start the game and I'll talk through it. I'm going to go easy. Okay, extremely easy. So we'd, we'd load the game, that would have eaten into probably, I don't know, maybe, I don't think I'm too, being too extreme in saying maybe half an hour's worth of our of our playtime, um, which may not have been in in total much more than that. It's a bit too easy on extremely easy, to be honest. So the game would load. Daryl obviously there'd be a fight. First, there'd be a fight as to what game we were going to play in the first place. The game would eventually load, and then there'd be a fight. Oh, get off me, dog! Uh, oh, uh, see how I cunningly caught that knife with my face. Um, so they'd, oh, I think that's the wrong one. Go away, dog. 
So they no, that was the right one. But I'll take some bricks as soon as I'm down here. They um, they would then fight about who would go first, and generally it would be Daryl that would go first. Um, and then Matthew would have a go because it's his house. And then if I was lucky, I would get a go. So I never really got very good. I loved Saboteur. If I ever got the choice, if they ever asked me what game shall we play, I would say Saboteur almost every time. There's one other game that I would say, and that's one we'll come up with next week. Um, um, oh, go away because I don't... It just makes you feel like a hero being able to do these kind of kicks. Uh, get down. Um, and then eventually I'd get a go. But my go would all be, be quite swift because I never got very good at it. And then generally, in all honesty, I'd probably get one go per visit. And then either they'd break into another fight and their mum would say, sorry, Chris, you're going to have to go home because they're being naughty and the computer's got to go off. Um, or it would just be time to go home. It would be time for them to have their dinner. So <laughs> that was my experience. So it's, yeah, that's seriously, that's as honest as I can think of my my time playing games like this at their house. Um, but it was still great fun and it just left a lasting impression. A, of the Z, uh, ZX Spectrum 48K um, and that wonderful rubber keyboard, which is hated by many people now. Um, but it's, for me, it's, it's just so cool. Do I have to flick this one? No. Um... But uh, but yeah, just memories of those, those times. It was it was good fun. Now, okay, so this game, even though I never became very good at it, I don't remember ever getting very far in it. First and foremost, okay, which is why I'm playing it on extremely easy. Um, however, it's funny how, and in all honesty, this isn't the first time I've played this. So you know, again, transparency. I, I didn't think it was worth you seeing me play this crap. Um, I just wanted to have a bit of practice. So I didn't look like a complete imbecile. And as I was playing through it, it seems like this. Getting in these trams, it's like, oh, yeah, that's right. You go through the trams. And then I came across the second one. That's right. There was two. And then you'll get to a bit later where you find the computer room. It's like, oh, yeah. So I don't know that I ever got that far in the game or... If those things ring a bell because I saw Matthew and Daryl get to those points in the game. Possibly, possibly the latter, I think. Um, but yeah, um, on, on extremely easy, and I'm not sure if I'll be able to do it today. Oh, oh, um, I actually managed to beat this the other day. So I, oh, I've got nothing to throw. Oh, caught it with my face again. Yeah, it's a it's a ninja tactic to make sure you catch things with your face. These things you, you have to turn on and off. Yeah. The controls on this one are sensible, by the way. So A and Z. Um, so A is up, Z is down. And then on the other side of the keyboard. Thinking in mind how that little rubber keyboard was. Not an ordinary keyboard. But A and Z uh, up and down. And then N and M are left and right. Plus, you would have seen an option on the menu. You can actually customise... The keyboard. I shouldn't stop too many times to talk because actually I am on a timer, as you can see. Um, and then space is your fire button, essentially. Oh, made too much noise. Get down. Uh, is it this way? I think. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, hello. Right, somewhere here I found the other day a bomb. Where's the bomb? But the bomb was not here when I played it on easy or setting three. When I tried playing it on setting five, I didn't get very far at all. And I can't throw the bomb. I have to place the bomb. I have to swap it for the computer disc. And it took me forever to find the flipping computer disc the other day as well. Oh, so now we're near the computer room, I think. Oh, get off. Get get off, you. Um, is it, is it this way? No. No, no. And yeah, so this bit is like, oh, I remember that. I remember going through that and it felt really cool. Um, and I know the computer, anybody that knows this game inside out is going, mate, you've got 14 seconds and you're going the wrong bloody way and you're so close and yet so far. And you know what? I think, I think I've screwed up. <gasps> no, 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 go away. 
if I don't make it, I'm not playing through it again. What you have to do is swap the bomb for the computer disk at one of the terminals, and then, which I thought, oh, damn it, so why is that not open? Oh no, I've been up here. This is a bad sign. This is a bad, oh, okay, what about this one? Nope. Oh, here we go. Right, right quick, 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 it's long here. There we go. So I've swapped the disc and I've planted a bomb. So now I've got more time because now I can get the hell out of here. But to get the hell out of here, I believe I have to go back to the trams. Up, oh, get off me, dog. Nope, not that way. Um, yeah, so it was it was quite a shock when I actually completed it the other day um, because I'm not sure that I ever did back in the day. If I did, it was because Matthew and Daryl shouted me at me going, go this way, go that way, no, do this, do that. It wasn't, yeah, I seriously, man, again, the amount of times, the, the impression, again, a bit like with a tick attack, which I swear I probably only played once at Daniel's house, um, but where am I going? Up. Get off me, doggy. Oh, it's not that way. I know it's not that way. Um, yeah, the amount of time I I, I played this game, and I don't think it's this way, uh, um, would would surely be measurable in tens of minutes. No, not tens of minutes. No problem. Yeah, yeah. Would I have had an actual hour of real time play? I have now. Where am I going? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know where I'm going. I've got quite a bit of time. Okay, this feels good, maybe? Okay, yes. Blue is good, because blue takes us to trams, usually. And that's tram number one. If I was back in tram number two, I'd be in trouble. Let me out. Um, oh, <laughs> the little buggers. I can't, I don't need that, I need a disc. Don't need, <laughs> I was very successful in my mission, I bought you this disc, sir. This, this um, brick, sorry. Yeah, ninja. It's such a good, yeah, there we go. You can shoot down and stuff to get the dogs, but I can't remember, I couldn't, I could, couldn't really get it to work the other day. No, oh, that's locked. Where does this go? This goes up somewhere. I don't remember having to do anything too complicated the other day to get out. I just kind of kept going up and eventually up led, oh, go away. Bugger, I'm just gonna run. Oh, what does that do? I don't know. Um, oh, okay, so I think it's this way. Leave me, sir, and hand me. That doesn't do anything. They turn purple if they do stuff. This one? Negative. Um, this one? Ah, that one did something. Let's hope it was something I wanted it to do. Ah, yes, I remember it. Uh, ooh, ooh. Okay, so there's some jumpy jumpy to do. Which I think I jumpy... It oh, can't be that way. Must be this way. Oh, bugger! My mum could hear me now. Oh, you get up. Oh, you piece of crap. Aha! Didn't catch that knife with my face. Right, okay, come on. Stupid jumpy jumpy stuff. I don't want to do... I, mm, see platformers, which up until this point this isn't, and now it is. I'm not big on platformers and jumping around here, right there, and everywhere. Seriously, I'm a ninja, but this small gantry has me foxed. 
How many? There we go. Okay. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, this way. Oh, okay. I think we're close. Is there a, oh. Nope, that is just... Nope. Then, then where am I going? <laughs> Where's the helicopter? Oh, you piece of crap. Oh, you... No, I know it's up here somewhere. It's up here to the right, I swear. 12 seconds. The stress is getting to me now. Come on. Okay, so surely we have to go up here. Then there's nowhere to go up there. That's where I was just now. I have five. This is where I was. Oh, you. You big pile of poo. <laughs> oh, no. That's fine. Look. That's a long enough video. There we go. That was Saboteur. I died. So there's no spoilers because I didn't show you how to complete the level. I did it the other day and that may have been the first time in my life. It may have been the only time in my life. There we go. Hope you enjoyed that one. Um, love this game. Absolutely love this game. Cheers, guys.